Westminster, Baltimore. The Vinyl Frontier. This is the voyage of Mike Brillhart and his love of a lost medium. His mission to explore the unique sound of classic rock on vinyl. The, the Vinyl, vinyl frontier. frontier. On 100.7 The Bay, Baltimore's classic rock. Classic rock. Classic rock. You know, there are a few albums that I consider Baltimore classics. Kicks, like their debut in the Midnight Dynamite and Blow My Fuse. And you can't talk about Baltimore classics without talking about Face Dancers This World. <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's Mike Burlhardt from 100.7 The Bay, and a big congratulations out to my buddies in Face Dancer. 40th anniversary of a, I usually say Baltimore classic, but I'm going to say rock and roll classic, uh, the album This World. And I'll never forget, uh, summer of 1979, this album spent almost the whole summer on my turntable. And I think I have like five copies now, but there's nothing like a song like Red Shoes, to put you in the mood for a party or hearing it on a Friday night on the radio. Great stuff. And uh, much love to the guys. And, of course, uh, much love to uh, the memory of Kerry Kress. The guy was always such a great person to me. And uh, he is definitely missed. And it's been a pleasure all these years uh, playing your music on the radio and bringing you on stage and knowing all of you. So I uh, hope you enjoy your 40s. Congratulations. World Face Dancer has been a landmark musical entity here for so long and it's just awesome that 40 years have gone by and the album still sounds fresh how did you do that i think carrie crest would be so proud of you guys for keeping it real for all this time so congratulations on 40 years of this world Hi, I'm Donna Jean from 100.7 The Bay. I'm the promotion director here. I'm in charge of all the fun and games, and I love me some face dancer. Yeah, I grew up with those red shoes, definitely saw them at some high school mixers, and I just want to say congratulations, face dancer, for 40 years of this world. You guys are out of this world, and I love you. See you soon. Yes, boys, red shoes. I don't know they're red boots, but it's your song, so happy anniversary. 40 years? Well, congratulations for me, Chris Emery, at the Bay. So you were all five years old when you got the band together, I guess. Happy anniversary. Best of Rock, Ocean 98. And I love it when a request comes in for a Baltimore favorite in Face Dancer. Can you believe it? The big 4 0 this year. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a classic here uh, for all the calls that always come in for red shoes and to bring back uh, just a ton of great memories of Charm City back in the day. So happy 40th anniversary, my goodness, to Face Dancer. It's their classic gem right here, red shoes on the best of rock. It's Ocean 98. Happy 40, happy 40, oh. happy 40, face down to this world, happy 40, happy 40, face down to this world, happy 40. Hey, Face Dancer, congratulations on the 40th anniversary of This World, one of the best albums in my collection. And uh, I, I remember back in the day, I knew that album like the back of my hand, and I was honored to be able to sing that record with you guys later on and uh, and be friends with you guys. And it's really, to me, it was it was like getting to be friends with Queen. And back in the day, there were my two favorite bands were Queen and Face Dancer. So, uh, other than that, all I can say is one of the best, not just one of the best local, not one of the best original, but one of the best bands of all time. Certainly one of the best chemistries of all time. You guys are the bomb. That record is still the bomb. I still love it. I love what you guys are doing. And uh, happy 40th anniversary on that wonderful record. Peace. Yes, it's the old Happy anniversary, Face Dancer. 40 years. BJ here. I love you all. 
so glad to be a part of it. Again, changed my life when I was a young man. Love you all. What does the face dancer legacy mean to me? Well, as a as an opening band member in 1979, to see the way those guys handle the room was just mind blowing and an inspiration to all of us who were in opening bands or in other bands for that matter. And then 20 some odd years later to actually be asked to play bass in that band was more than a guy could ask for. And so to me, it's not just a legacy, it's part of my personal legacy for which I will ever be grateful. Hey, this is Dale Marks. Joined the group back when Jeff Adams did. Back in the Georgetown days, one of the uh, most forerunning rock and roll bands at that time, definitely into the stage performance aspect. They were way ahead of the other groups of their time in that aspect. The brief amount of time that I had with the group, it was a real education and it was a real pleasure to be able to uh, work with a group that was so performance oriented. It was quite an experience. Once upon a time, the year was 1979, and five cool cats, Carrie, Billy, David, Jeff and Scott formed a band in beautiful Baltimore, Maryland. They called their band Face Dancer, and they released their first album, This World, in 1979. Now we listen to this CD, album, cassette over and over and over again, and the Face Dancer show was the highlight of your week, highlight of your month. For some people, it was the highlight of their year. Forty years later, we are still smitten. I'd like to say congratulations, guys on 40 years of rock and roll, celebrating this world. Hi guys, uh, it's Bud Becker, and uh, I've known your face dancer group for more years than I care to uh, discuss. Anyway, um, looking back, 1979, we did Shady Grove Music Fair, you headlined. Uh, moving ahead with Hammerjacks, I did the uh, Face Dancer Reunion for you at Hammerjacks. And going way, way back to McLean, Virginia in 1968, Billy Trainer was my go-to guy. So I would like at this time to wish you a happy 40th and many more. And hopefully I will be around to see you 50 plus. Time bomb, time bomb. A shout out to all the folks in Face Dancer. Happy anniversary. 40 year anniversary that is for the release of This World. An iconic album. Very much a big part of my childhood and still sounds great to this day. Again, great job, guys. You know I ain't no traveling man I use the phone whenever I can And when my work is over then I have to go The Sphinx must be dying.